You guys have no freaking idea how hot and sweaty it is inside of that alien mask. The things I do for YouTube. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most unique Airbnb I've showcased on this channel by far. This behind me definitely looks like a UFO, but it's actually called a Futuro house. It's actually designed this type of home by a Finnish architect back in the 60s and the 70s. And it's extremely rare, extremely unique and tough to come by because they actually constructed just about 100 of these houses all over the world. And apparently according to the host, this is actually the only Futuro a house worldwide that you can rent on Airbnb or any you know sort of short-term rental property. So definitely very hard to come by and I honestly got pretty lucky to be able to showcase this to you guys. So really excited though for you to check out Area 55 out here in Joshua Tree. So if you want to learn more about this place, more about this property on Airbnb, I'll link out to its Airbnb listing down in the video description. As always, if you want to book this for tour house or any other tiny house, tree house, anything like that at all, anywhere in the world, be sure to use my Airbnb affiliate code also link it down in the video description as well. But I'm really excited to abduct you guys for a few minutes to check out this Futura house. So let's hop straight into the tour of Area 55 out here in Joshua Tree, California. Let's do it. Welcome to Area 55. It's definitely a sight to be seen, a UFO in the middle of the desert. We'll get the ball rolling by checking out some of the other amenities here on the property, beginning first with this sort of barbecue and chill out space. There is a dining room table kind of right smack dab in the middle of all of this, but then the main key feature is this really big grill. It's a nice stainless steel model, has plenty of room to cook up some hot dogs, burgers, whatever you might want. Right next to all of that, this contraption is actually your bathroom. Keep in mind, this is an off-grid experience. It could be considered glamping. My favorite part was this sign with the alien on it. I won't spend too much time here, but this is the bathroom as everything you'll need for your time out in the desert. To the left of the bathroom, this is your off-grid shower. We'll take a super quick peek inside. It looks like this. Then the opposite end has your hot and cold water, shampoo, and conditioner. Now the main space on the exterior is this whole area right here. There is turf everywhere. It's a really open space. It looks a little bit like this. They actually have outdoor bowling. I've definitely never done anything like that before activity wise. So definitely something fun to do out in the desert. And there's also a fire pit and some chairs. But now let's definitely go take a closer look at the UFO. Welcome to your UFO where you will sleep tonight. Just saying that sentence in itself to me is just crazy. I absolutely love how Airbnb offers unique experiences like this. There's a few signs off to one side that say stuff like caution and no trespassing, which just kind of adds to the overall mood. This is probably my favorite drone shot from the entire shoot. Just the UFO overall just feels like it's straight out of a science fiction movie. But now I think it's time to head on inside to check out the interior of the UFO. Welcome to the interior of the Area 55 UFO. This Airbnb is comprised of one main room, which you're looking at right now. So I'm gonna break it down to more detail, starting first here on this ceiling with this contraption. It kind of felt like the ray gun that aliens might abduct you with. We're now going to go clockwise around this main room, starting first with this welcome table on the left-hand side. There's a bunch of remotes here, like your TV remote. One of these smaller remotes actually operates a little trap door you saw that allows entrance into the UFO. There's some stuff like some speakers that lie around here. There's also some hand sanitizer left around for the crazy COVID times, and a little bit of a welcome packet with some more information on things to do in the surrounding area. We're now going to check out some more of the items in the left-hand side of the UFO. So we'll go past the little welcome table area. And there's a bunch of little stuff over here on this side, starting first with this table. It has just some of the necessities you might need to get your day off to the right start, like some coffee and tea mugs, some plates, a French press for coffee. There's also artwork that's all over the UFO, which of course is alien themed. Right next to all of that, you have a cooler and an old school TV and VHS player. I haven't seen one of those in ages. You have a bunch of VHS movies, all alien themed. I personally highly recommend watching the movie E.T. 
We're now gonna go more towards the center of the main room. You have your welcoming committee. You have these two aliens that I thought was just hilarious. On either side of this sign or this pill that says, be our guest. There's also some storage space as well. Further back there, just some extra blankets and pillows, a heater as well, because it definitely gets pretty cold at night in the deserts. I'm sure you're probably asking by now, where do I sleep? There's four pieces of furniture that kind of look like a footstool and it folds out into a bed just like this. And there's plenty of blankets and pillows. So you actually sleep up to four people in the UFO. Don't forget to give the video a like and also make sure you are subscribed. Last but not least, I have a new playlist linked in the description of my favorite Airbnb properties. So be sure to go check it out. We're now going to begin to finish up the tour here in the UFO. On the right hand side, we have yet to cover this space. There's two chairs over in this corner. Look very futuristic, almost like something out of Star Trek. I definitely thought of very white and modern, futuristic looking. There's also kind of dolls or toys of aliens littered all over this entire UFO. So definitely thought that was a nice and unique touch. Right in between those two chairs then, you have this cool stereo setup. One of my favorite items the host left behind is of course the original VHS Star Wars trilogy set, a complete gem, which I also highly suggest you watch. There's also then some blankets and games and extra pillows over here in this corner, but this kind of entire space is one of my favorite areas inside of the interior. Thanks so much for checking out my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed touring this incredibly unique Airbnb with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my playlist linked down below, and I'll see you next time. I'm not doing that. I just thought.